You could also, you know what you so should I'm also, also put in a new house and in here. Too. That's what I was about to say. You should also have like a room here because that's something for the trans women who will live here to, to aspire to. Not saying that they got to look for it, try to get a Grammy, but it's just something to shoot their aim at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's inspiration. Speaking of trans women, we want to take a break for a second to uh, communicate with one of my trans sisters right now who has been backstage watching. Um, uh, I don't know if you guys have, uh, if you're in Atlanta and you visited What You Cooking, baby. Uh, my sister Jada, Black Beauty, is here. And uh, hi, Jada. How you doing? Uh, 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 turn your mute off. Yeah, turn your, your mute is on. Hey, there you guys. Go. What's going on? Hi. Yes. All right, so bring us close together, Mo. All right. Jada, what, tell us what you hear. What, what's going on, sister? Um, so first of all, I just want to say thank you for allowing me to come on here and just kind of talk about the things that I've been going through and uh, as far as my business. But the reason why I'm here today is um, I'm going through a legal battle right now with my business. And um, I've been having some difficulties recovering funds. I um so if you guys ever been to Atlanta or ever visit the truck, it's called What You Cooking Baby, and um, it's a New Orleans catering food truck that my twin and I do. And um, what happened was, I have a food trailer which you, it has to be connected to a truck, and the truck engine went out, and it costed me about well, it costed us about ten thousand dollars, and. When we got it fixed, well, we were supposed to get it fixed properly the first time, but the company that we went through, the mechanic said that, um, you know, there's nothing that they can, you know, do, and they tried the best that they can, and they even offered to pay GMC. So when we took it to GMC, GMC could not even fix the food truck. So it's we spent about fifteen thousand dollars trying to get this car fixed, this truck fixed. And also, you know, over the last month and a half, we've been losing out on a lot of money because we haven't been able to work properly. Um, Brandon and I have been doing this very consistent. And not only have we been doing this consistent, I'm a black transgender woman. And we started this business, you know, my twin and I started this business so we can create space and create a movement and show people that, you know, black transgender women are more than doing makeup and doing hair. And we have other talents. So... You know, I'm coming to you guys in, um, in hopes to recover, you know, some things so I can get things moving, cracking, shaking, and things like I've always been. So. And more than sex work, too, because I think there's a perception that trans women only um, move in the realm of sex work. Right. So you just need them. Tell them where they can uh, help you. They want. They say, "What's your cash app? How to donate? They want to do okay, this." Okay. So my my cash app is uh, Sweet Tahiri. I don't know. Do I put chat or what do can I? Can you put it in the um? In the comments. Can you put it where your yeah, name? No, put it where your name goes. Oh, yeah, yeah, you could actually do that. Okay, so how do I do that? Let me see more. Go to go to the um. So change three Jada dots, Black to the three dots. We're on gotcha. your, and then you see edit name. I'm doing it right now, y'all. All right. Did you go with me that day to go to their brunch? I don't there think so. Go. There we yeah, go. Mama Mary came and Madison came and um, it was amazing. So like I say, we've been doing uh, an extremely great job in the LGBT community. I'm not just a chef. I'm also an advocate, a big sister, a mother in the community. Um, I've done HIV work in the community and, um, you know, I did HIV testing. So I've done a lot of great things in the community, not just here in Atlanta, but also in New York before I even got here. So Jada, right now the truck, you're not, you're not, you're not because the truck is inoperable, you're not in business right now. Yeah. So I just been having to rent cars. I've been having to rent cars like so you are still in business, business right now. Yes, but I have to rent trucks weekly until I come up with some type of solution. So that's right. the whole purpose Where can of me you now though. Oh, what you in, addition to, in addition to sending to the cash app, but where can they find you too? Like oh, they... the name of the uh, business is called What You Cooking Baby. It's spelled W H A T C H A Cooking Baby, and that's cooking without a G. So write it in the comp in the uh, in the in the things down here. So are you currently still cooking? Yes, I am. I am. I am. Yes, I am currently um, still cooking. So are do you are so are do you ca you do you cater still? I so cater. I cook. All that you can hit me up at whatchacookingbaby.com. You know, give me some business, some things rolling. You know, there is the GoFundMe out as well. Yeah, whatchacookingbaby CD. They spell is that spell right? That is exactly spelled right. 
Okay. So would you be opposed to uh like going to people's places catering stuff for okay. them? Yes, of course. So you still do that? You, you yes. do that. So here's the thing. This is what I like to do as a person who's because because even now, like you know, I got the TS Madison Starter House program going. Uh, whatever. I always explain to the people like when they donate to the TS Madison Starter House program, um, that none of that money is coming to me. It's going directly to the things for the Starter House. You understand? Yes, but because you are a chef and you cooking or whatever, you know, sometimes people feel some type of way. You work for your. You work. Book her. Book her to cater your event. Right. Book her to cater your your mm -hmm. next event, your thing. Like let her come over there and cook because the food is you don't want to you don't have to give a shit. Right. Pay her to support her. You know, support her. Right. And you know, and I said this time and time again here. If we all use our social media to really lift each other up, especially if it's a fledgling business, we we have the capacity to do that by simply supporting each other. You don't and have to have a GoFundMe. You don't have to have because I know that there are people who are leery about sending money to a GoFundMe because you don't know if people are misappropriating funds or whatever. But you can simply go and support her business. Right. And that's that's what uh, it's really all about. Um, we've been doing this for like two years. We uh, did the interview with T.S. Madison, I think, like four years ago. And we talked about it. We manifested. Oh, it's been like five. No, that uh, been like five that's before I did the T.S. Madison experience, right? My TV right, show. So that's right. I just moved back from um, New York. You're correct. Dang, yes, that was like five. It goes by fast. And I remember interviewing you and your twin because she's a twin. Oh, okay. Yeah, she has a twin. And I remember your you, your y'all story was a very interesting story, and uh, it was actually an amazing story that you guys had. And I was I was so happy. And then you told me after that, like things took off for y'all, and you know. I'm always happy to be, you know, just affiliated and associated with people that just come through, talk to me about mm -hmm. something, and then shit take off of them. I really, I really enjoy, I really enjoyed it. And I really thank y'all for coming to my platform and sharing your story. That was a that was an amazing thing for me, you know. I, Julia, I really I, thank you too, because I believe that like as a as a leader in the community, I believe that it's our duty to pour into people who look just like us. And what I realized is that. You know, like, of course, because, you know, I came to your house, you were very welcoming and we did the interview, but you and I built a relationship outside of just me coming to your home, you know, even with your mom and just saying hello sometimes and things like that. Before I even had the food truck, you know, I was making barbecue shrimp, you know, I ex Madison, you know, such and such, such and such. So she's always supported me, not just with the food truck, but who I am as an individual and collectively with my twin brother. So, yeah, I can say that. Yeah. No, I was not calling uh, Julia. I was not calling her business fledgling. What I said was, we are in the position to support each other, especially when a business is fledgling. Thank I you. wasn't talking about her, uh, her business, right? Because she is experiencing some hardship right. right now because of something happened. So the lawsuit that you're in, do you want to share with us what happened, or is, or is it because it's a litigation you can't? Well, I can't really say too much, but what I can say is the uh, mechanic company didn't want to take full ownership of them not properly fixing the car. And even they offered to uh, pay GMC, like, oh, let's see what's really wrong with the car and let's why the car is not properly working. But when it was time to go to GMC, um, they wasn't answering the phone. They didn't want to give me no paperwork or nothing like that, which I had paperwork. But when I went to the courthouse, I had to show, you know, they have to have a, uh, what is it called? It's, uh when they, they subpoena, they have the information to subpoena the mechanic company. And I wound up paying three extra thousand dollars. We wind up paying three extra thousand dollars to get the car fixed. So it's just been a lot of um, spending money, like thousands of dollars, you know, to get this back up and working. And we are a small business. Like we're not multimillionaires. You know, we're not people who come, we don't come from you know, like a family that's wealthy, you know, we're very hardworking and driven. You know, we take ourselves serious. We take our business serious. And um, it's just been something that's been, you know, going on. And I had to kind of publicly talk about it because, yeah, we do have a lot, like a large clientele. Of course, we have a large clientele. But people were wondering why Jada and Brandon wasn't so consistent. Like, what is going on that y'all not consistent? Because we've been consistent for the last two years, you know. Before I started selling food on the food truck, I was selling food out my house. You know, on the east side of Atlanta, I was pumping food out of my house. The food truck is something that we collectively came up with together because my twin knows what it's like, you know, as a trans woman trying to find a job and all these other different things. It's not the most easiest. And we created this avenue to 
you know, support ourselves. So I'm I'm proud of everything that we've done. Um, you know, I don't feel bad for what happened because I believe that God has the last say. So God is, you know, the head of my life. I'm never to tell. And um, I ran through some hardship and and it's okay to publicly talk about it and you know and seek help from people who love me and the things that i've done all right yeah. well sister thank you for coming on talking about it we'll give you you will chop this little piece up so you can put it on your instagram when the show is over with and it, we'll post it too and that's our website again you guys were asking uh what's the website again that's our website what you cooking baby that's right honey. dot com and then her they cash app again is sweet tahiri and they food is so good so don't play no games with it like they food is good like real good. So even if you don't want to get her a dollar, bitch, to her cash app or to or go for me, book her to mm -hmm. come cater your shit. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see everybody, and um, I'll, we will be we will be out this weekend. So make sure y'all come see us. Um, I'm gonna have like a community event, like at the towards the end of uh this month, maybe like Saturday or Friday or something. Like I just gotta put something together, and I want everybody to come out, come get a fish plate. Come get some some voodoo egg rolls. Come get whatever you need to support us. You know, it's not about the five dollars on Cash App or the money on GoFundMe because I have to continue this business and right. I have to continue to press forward. So coming out and supporting and getting your fish plate, whatever it is that you gotta do to support me in these next couple of weeks, please do so. Don't hesitate. And again, thank you, Madison. And thank, thank you, Craig. I really you're welcome. DM that. me on Instagram, please, and I'll put it on my yeah. all of my stuff too. All right. Yeah. Don't so forget, much. my Instagram is Craig the Writer Stewart. She know what your oh, okay. Instagram is for. <laughs> I just want to make sure because I want to. I want to post it for you. Thank you, Craig. I really appreciate you. All right, no all problem. right, sister. We love you and thank you for stopping by. And we'll probably do an Instagram live too, child. When I'm when I'm rolling around or something. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, man. That's hey, we need to go out there. Yeah. Tell yeah. your mama I say yeah. hello. Go out there. Where, where, where is it, sister? What? Where are you going to be located? Maybe we can come out one day. Madison and I can come out. Um, I'm gonna be on the east side this all weekend. Uh, oh, I, that's I'm my neighborhood, here. bitch. Is it this weekend? Yeah, I'll be in Pittsburgh. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, I'm where on the east side? <laughs> I'm gonna DM you so you can come see me. Okay, yeah, DM me, DM me. Okay, thank y'all. All right, I love you, sister. Bye. Love you too, big sis. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate y'all. You welcome.